Welcome back to Judo Breakdowns, your source for judo commentary on the internet. And what I have for you today is a match from the Grand Slam in Tel Aviv 2022 in the men's under 100 division between Peter Polchik from Israel and Michael Carell from the Netherlands. Uh, they're already getting their grips going and a throw is already happening. No? Okay. And uh, they're getting onto the ground. I don't think anything's going to happen from here. This is the semifinals. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Telling him, back up, man. You know, uh, Hajime has, hasn't been called yet. So, Peter's in white, and Michael is in blue. And uh, just trying to find the right grips between the two of them. We're getting a right on left grip here. Uh, and now, a, a right grip from Peter and the over the back. Switching back to a left grip now. Uh, and uh, I think Michael has kept with the right grip this entire time. Whereas Peter has been switching from left, which he has now, to a right when he goes over. The drop uh, from uh, Michael. Peter's getting a lot of cheers from the crowd, but he hasn't been attacking, and so he gets penalized for that. Yeah. And uh, what do we get here from... Just a lot of pushing forward from Peter. And uh, an appropriate forward attack from uh, Michael, but nothing really to, coming out of it. Would like to maybe see uh, a Koshigurma or something. From the, just trying to use that, uh, if they could throw any uh, a Tomonagi. Oh, from uh, under 100 category. Maybe a bit asking a bit too much. <laughs> and it, it sort of half attempt at a Uchimata there from Peter. Didn't even connect with the body, but hey, that still counts. That drops AOA. That I've seen that called as a false attack before. Makikomi, left Makikomi. And uh, we're going to reset here. Although I don't know why you would. Just keep the flow going, you know? And we're seeing left versus right again. Okay, so what grip will he get? I don't see anything that, okay, so just the left grip from Michael now. He switched. But what throw are, are either of these uh, players going to be eventually attempting? That doesn't count as an attempt. That is a, that's a Wazari for sure. That's a Wazari for sure. However, there still seems to be time left. How much time left? One minute 15 or 16. Plenty of time to uh, <clears throat> to get that Wazari to catch up for uh, Peter, but he can't spare too much time uh, to waste either. So, it's so grabbing over. You know what? In the scramble for the Newaza, I think there was a an armbar right there for the taking. You even saw the the look of pain on uh, Peter when he landed, and then that was from the armbar. If uh, Michael had grabbed that, snaked it at that time, this would have been well over. So something for him to probably look back at and say, "Oh, that was right there." So, so seen some entrances, but uh, nothing very serious so far. The drop now from uh, Michael. The crowd is not too happy with that, but you know what? Hey, that's legit. <laughs> they need to be cheering Peter on to get a throw in. Of anything. Time is now definitely rapidly diminishing. So, let's see how everything is looking here. 
over the back is I think probably the thing is Peter's got to not worry about having a perfect grip. It's really slowing him down in terms of getting attacks off. The crowd's not very happy with uh, the drop stay away from uh, Peter, but I don't think he can be blamed for... Oh, the false attack. So now he's got two Cheetos on him, but there's only 20 so odd seconds left for, for Peter to really get an attack off. And uh, you can see how defensive Michael is being with respect to trying to control the sleeves and uh, having a bent over posture. Will, will this turn into anything? One second left to go? No. And that's it. Uh, Michael, <laughs> so, he's playing against the crowd, the uh, the very pro-Peter uh, Israel crowd, uh, who is, of course, uh, they're in Tel Aviv, so they were cheering on Peter and booing Michael, so kind of giving it back to them. Uh, congratulations to uh, Peter on the Wazari victory he is able to hold on despite the two shitos to the end of time and uh really peter himself um didn't give too many moments of credible attacking the two uh for to make michael really that worried you know i think there was potential in that uchimata but he gets out in and out of it so fast it's like come on like if you're gonna want him to react, like you gotta throw something real. Like don't don't come up with some BS, right? Like go in, try to throw. If off the reaction, work off that reaction, right? Okay, it's a chain. You know, just jumping, hopping in, hopping out, and then that's your biggest throw. It's like okay, that's that's not saying much, right? So something for uh, Peter to think about in terms of going forward. But congratulations again to Michael for moving on to the next round, which will be the finals for him. And uh, those are my thoughts. If you'd like to add your own, please leave a comment. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe. That'd be great. And until next match, have a great night.